Hello and welcome back to Grade 8 French, Unité 1, Révision, or Review. This is a nice sort of heads up for what we'll be doing in tomorrow's class. We'll go through a pretty standard smart board lesson that is very similar in format to the contents of the video which you are watching right now. So for our first grammar or parts of speech lesson of the year, we are going to review four important concepts which we looked at last year. We're going to look at les verbes irréguliers, vouloir, pouvoir et devoir, les pronoms sujets, la corde du verbe, et l'imperatif. Okay, and if you're saying, well, it's been a long summer and I really don't feel confident in my memory of these four concepts, don't panic. I'm going to give you help throughout this video. Certain things will have been filled in for you already, but I'm also challenging your memory of what we studied last year. So at certain points, you'll hear me say, put the video on pause and try filling out this chart or try completing these sentences. So let's begin by reviewing the conjugations for vouloir, pouvoir, and devoir. What you're going to do is put the video on pause, just read over this chart and absorb or reabsorb as much of the contents in this chart as you can. Put the video on pause for a minute. Okay, moving on. So here's the pouvoir chart. Okay, of course, pouvoir meaning to be able to. Now, as we learned last year, conjugating pouvoir is very similar to conjugating vouloir. So that's why I'm leaving this chart blank. I want you to try filling out this chart now. So have a piece of paper and a pen or pencil handy, put the video on pause, and try this out. Now let's move on to one final chart. We have devoir to have to. Okay, and unfortunately devoir doesn't really follow the same format as vouloir and pouvoir do. So to help you out, I filled in half of this chart, but when I finish speaking, please put the video on pause and try completing this chart. Go on pause now. Okay, let's move on. So here's the need activity. We've got five sentences here. And what you're going to do for each is you are going to properly conjugate the verb in the bracket so that it matches the subject that we're using. So an example of un, we've got je blanc, manger tout de suite. And the verb is devoir. So your challenge is to conjugate devoir for the subject je. Okay, and then you're going to do the same for the next four sentences. So at this point, please put the video on pause. And let's move on. Okay, the next three screens are blank. These three slides show you three regular verbs or verb regulier, meaning that they follow a nice common rules for conjugating the verb. Okay, so we're going to start off with an ER verb, regarder. So you're going to put the video on pause and try to conjugate this chart. And moving on, we've got finir, to finish, an IR verb. So put the video on pause and try this one out. And finally, attendre, to wait. So you know the drill. When I'm done talking, put the video on pause, jot down an attendre chart, and see how much you can fill out. All righty. Now let's review les pronoms sujets, subject pronouns. So I filled in the first three for you, and then I'm going to see tomorrow, uh, how much of these ones you're able to fill out? 
So to begin, we've got toi et moi, you and me. Okay, in English, that's we or us, but in French, it translates to new. Okay, for a second, we've got vous et moi, group of you plus me, which equals new. And finally, we have ils et toi, them plus you. So that would equal vous, you plural. So put the video on pause and please try these next four. All right, moving on. Okay, so what you're going to do on this screen is you're going to practice using les pronoms sujets. You're going to conjugate the verbs in the brackets uh, so that they match the subject pronoun. So I've done the first one for you. We've got Marina et Andrew, blanco casquerout. And the verb was manger. Marina et Andrew, elle et il, that means ils. So for manger, the ER changes to ENT. So you go put the video on pause and see if you can complete the next four. Alrighty, moving on. Okay, so on that last slide, we were also practicing la quarte du verbe. This means making sure that the verb is conjugated to match a subject. On the next two slides, we're going to practice la quarte du verbe some more. So for each of the problems, we have to replace the subject in the sentence with the subject in the brackets. And we have to conjugate the verb to match the new subject. So let's take a look. Um, in the above example, tu vas au restaurant, we're going to change tu to tes amis et toi, which I've done here. Tes amis et toi means you are friends and you, or vous. So va must change to aller. So it agrees with the subject. So when I'm done talking, put the video on pause and see if you can complete the first one. Marthe mange une salade, and we need to change that to vous et moi. So put the video on pause, and when you hit play, I'll reveal the answer. Okay, so we're going to take out uh, Marth and put in vous et moi. But now, the important thing is, what does vous et moi mean? And if you said it means new, you're exactly right. So mange must thus change to mangeant. Okay, so put the video on pause so that you can try the next prop. All right. And for the next slide, you're going to put the video on pause and give these three sentences a try. And moving forward, uh, finally, let's do a quick review of l'imperatif. We use l'imperatif to write instructions or orders to people, but we do not name the people in the instructions. So if a verb ends in ER, we drop the ER and we add the following endings. So take a minute, put the video on pause, and just look over this chart. Okay, let's move on. So if a verb ends in RE, we drop the RE and we have the following ending. So put the video on pause. Just take a look at this chart. See how much you can hold in there. Okay, and finally, if a verb ends in IR, we drop the IR and add the following endings. I've left this one blank. And this is the toughest of the three. So I'm giving you a really nice challenge here with this one. So fortunately, there's only three sections. Please put the video on pause and try this chart. All right. Uh, so now you're going to get some practice using l'imperatif. So for each statement, you're going to use the correct conjugation for subject that is in the brackets. So exemple, du zemi, those are people you're talking to. The verb is regarder, and the rest of the sentence says le menu.
So du's and me, you're talking to your two friends. So that's vu. So you drop the er, and it becomes so regarde the menu. Okay. I'll give you the answer for this first one after you put the video on pause and try it out on your own. We have tonami, a tonter, and mama. Put the video on pause now. All right. So first solution, tonami. You're talking to your friend, your female friend, because ami ends with e. So that would mean two, and. When it's an RE verb, a subject is two. The RE changes to an S. So we have attend un moma. So I'll put the video on pause and try the next question. Okay, and this is the final slide. So I want you to put the video on pause. And try out these three, and when you're done, hit play, just for the conclusion. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this video. Again, uh, congratulations if you're able to complete all, most, or even some of the activities which I left blank. We will go over all of this tomorrow. Uh, but until we meet in our next class, this concludes today's video.